And welcome back. Here we are straight into the Lordcraft, uh, finishing off the research for the Arcane Forge, which is the next step, the next item to make the actual crystals from the mod. So again, this is predominantly just finding the letter. I don't know why, but although it's in alphabetical order, left column first and then the second column last, I struggled to find the, the, the letters. It's like I don't know the alphabet, but anyway, I, I promise you I do. Um, so just going through there and finishing up, learning that. And as you can see, that little pop in the background is that the research is complete. So we've now learned how to make that. And straight away, I can do that. And there we go. Plop. Down it goes. So this allows us to use it as a furnace if you put, I think, lava in it. Um, but what we actually want it for is making of the crystals. So you turn the crystals that you mine, the dark grayish crystals, inert crystals into their counterparts and that is the fire wind or air light etc etc so we've now got that i need to look at that this is the abilities thing that i'm still not sure how to work and i haven't figured it out even after editing um i haven't looked though to be honest i do try and work these things out for myself but sometimes it just becomes impossible okay so an odd thing to do in hardcore and that is kill yourself. Now, I've forgot at this point that it doesn't actually do damage unless there is actually something in there, i.e. hot metal, that then damages you. So I do have to quickly jump out and pick up some ingots. Anything works. It doesn't matter what. So you just chuck that in there. But yeah, for moving on to do blood magic, I need to unlock the blood magic chapter. And one of the things we need is the, the actual blood magic book. And to make that, you need congealed blood. And the only way to do that is blood from Tinkers, which works with mobs as well. Uh, but of course, mobs are a problem seeing as my base is lit up like a Christmas tree. So it also works on yourself. And I was quietly confident that with my resources and regen, etc., that I would be okay. And spoiler, I was. Um... But I do actually take the armor off because all it's doing is damaging the armor. And with the regen that I have, there's no way that this is going to do any damage. Now it's slow. There you go, straight away. I did make a funny mistake, though, that I used gold as my random resource. And it actually does mix with, mix with blood to make that or aurum, red aurum. I have no idea what that is, where it's from or what it does. But yeah, as soon as the gold ran out, it then started producing blood. And at 10 mini buckets a tick, you can see there, it's not doing any damage to me whatsoever, even with my armor off. So I could stand here forever, and I need to, because we need a lot more blood than this. So let's skip that of me standing with this awful noise. Okay, we can now leave. That was enough of that. And let's have a look how many we've made. I think I only need like four. There's 16. So then what we need to do is dry these on a drying rack. And that then makes the little capsule there. And that is what we need for the recipe. So let's go and craft up uh, some drying racks and get them drying. I think it takes five minutes. So I'll come back when we are at the next stage.
So another thing we needed was some demon will. So I've just gone into there. As you can see, I got the quest for that. I didn't leave it in because it's really dark in there. And I think it's a bit crap when it comes over on YouTube. So rest assured, I went in there and threw some of the snares. You get them free by completing the quest. Um, and then we've got the demon soul ready to go. We've got the congealed blood items there. You can see that dried on the rack. We only need four. I think it may be five. So we've got that too. So that should be everything now to make the uh, Hellforge, I believe, or thereabouts. Yeah, so you need this condensed flame. Now, the condensed flame is reasonably simple. It is eight of the crystals, the searing crystals from Lordcraft, of which we can already make. Uh, but you need, as you can see there, research equipment. So you need to unlock the equipment research to do that. To get that final item for the Hellforge. So, rinse and repeat for Lordcraft, right? Let's go and do some research. there we go final item done after that bit of research wasn't too bad i had to do another prerequisite item before which i think was staves to unlock the equipment but it's not that difficult now i know how to do it uh you saw i had to draw a few of my own things here as well but that is it the hellforge is complete so we now have that going for us as well for blood magic which means we can use the demon wheels and start crafting a few of their items too so this is all sort of progressing through the uh, mods nicely now, for me anyway, and getting to the ones that I'm actually used to, Blood Magic being one of them, but we're getting so close to Britannia, I can taste it. And even more research. This is infused fabric that we're going to go for next. This is really, I'm just trying to figure out how to unlock the abilities and the and the items, the armors or, or, or whatever comes with it. But I am going to actually have to look now. Uh, I did spend a bit of time off, off the video where I've got a lot of these tiles. I think I've got about 30. So a lot of farming for the living route really. But it, it pays off because it gets you through this research pretty quick. And it's not that difficult. Again, the most tiles you need for a research is 12 but there's a bit more research here to do it doesn't unlock the thing is i still don't know how to do it but i mean progressing with the research can't be a bad thing right so let's uh, get this push through this this research i move on to something more exciting especially for me anyway Oh, yes. <clears throat> Here we go. New Island for the new mod. Uh, not that it's new. It's 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 one of my favorite. It probably is my favorite mod. So here we go. Nice and simple. You can see there. I've just did another thing. It's not finished growing out the grass yet. But we're going to end up doing a 3x3 three three here, I think. Though it could change. It just depends. But this thing, th this mod seriously needs its own island. Same as Astral Sorcery will. So I've got the Apothecary. And straight next to that, I've got a sink. Because obviously you need a bucket of water to do anything with this thing. 
You can automate putting the water in, but it's not the end of the world. Now, I was just doing a pure daisy there and forgot that you need seeds. You just need normal wheat seeds. So, gonna got them. And usually next to the chest where the petals are to do all of these mixes, I just leave the seeds in there. So there we go, that is the pure flower. Now, I'd like to have another one of them. I like two because I like one for the wood and one for the stone. So quickly just throw together another one of those, nice and simple. Four white petals and a wheat seed. Boom. So we've got the basics done there. I'll put them down. Obviously, you have eight slots around it, so you skip one to put that down, and then it fits in nicely. And we'll just quickly go and get the resources. Now, I wasn't sure I had to check, because depending on the mod pack, it depends on what you do. But luckily, this mod pack's simple. It is just stone, and it is just wood. So that's nice. The mod pack I paid before this needed concrete and something else. I think it was Stacia Expert 6 or something. It was a lot more complicated anyway. So simple stone and wood, and you put them around, wrap it around, and they turn into the living stone and the living wood, which are the resources from Botania to get you started, and that is for things like the wand, the uh, maniples, the spreaders, etc., etc. And some time later, there you go. There's the stone converting to living rock and the wood converting to living wood. So let's just harvest both of those. And all you do is rinse and repeat. Now, automating this is also very simple with a block placer that you just put underneath and then a block breaker. And all it, and you put a filter on the block breaker so that when it converts them, it mines them and you get so much done with that. I mean, with it being just stone and wood, it's nice and easy. So I do like that. The mana pool, not so easy, however. You need luminous crystal, which is another Lordcraft thing that we don't have. You need to research... Uh, light level two <clears throat> and get the fancier gems but it should be doable so we can go and have a look at where we're at with that and what we need to do to get level two in the light right so it turns out I'm gonna need some mana as well or magic mana whatever you put it in that void thing and to do that you need the siphons and what you do is you create the siphons with four glass four of the said iron and one of the gems for that type of siphon as you can see there is a blazing siphon and there's an earth siphon you then click them onto the void itself and that allows it to store magic you then put the gems into into the uh, thing and it stores them you can then use them in the future for crafting that is what you need to do that is what i needed to do but at the time, you can see, I'm not entirely sure what to do. And as you can see, there you go. Fire mana is 1,000 and the earth mana is 1,000. So it can store 1,000 of each of those retrospective magics now. I haven't unlocked light yet, which is why that still shows the siphon is required. So up on using that is what I can do to move forward. But we are going to end the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please click like. Any comments are welcome. Subscribe for further updates. Take care. Goodbye.